Whether or not you're familiar with the name Bombardier, there is a good chance you have used one of their vehicles, from buses and airplanes to even providing train cars for our SkyTrain system. Bombardier has cast a wide net across Canada's transportation industry. One thing many people don't realize is that while being known for transport by land and air, they also make products for out on the water. Bombardier Recreational Products, also known as BRP, was created as a separate entity from Bombardier Inc. in order to accommodate their expansion into recreational sports vehicles. BRP has become an industry leader with products including boats, jet skis, ATVs, and snowmobiles. Almost 20 years after the launch of BRP, Taiga Motors has entered the power sports game and launched new off-road power sport models that are quite literally electrifying the industry. Although these two companies are in the same industry sector, each company has their own unique strength in their operations. Bombardier led the industry in the development of snowmobiles and other recreational products. Taiga is diversifying that industry by being one of the first growth companies to electrify power sport vehicles. It is a well-known fact that Canadians love the outdoors, and these two companies are changing the way that we play outside. Hey Derek, from a financial perspective, we are looking at two very different financials and market caps. Each company is at a different stage in the business life cycle. Could you tell us a little bit about each and where they currently stand? Yeah, sure. So when we look at BRP and Taiga, obviously these are, these are two companies that both compete in the in the fast growing power sports market, but at, at very different stages in their in their life cycle. BRP is a seven and a half billion dollar market cap company. It's been around for a long time. You know, its brands are very very well um, penetrated within markets and, and resonate you know at the top of consumers' mind. When we think about Taiga, Taiga is very much an, an early stage market disruptor focused completely on the electrification of power sports. So Taiga is the world's first commercial electric snowmobile and PWC platform, with the company recently having reached commercial production earlier this year. Could you talk to us about the electrification of the motorsports industry? Yeah, certainly the electrification of power sports is, is something that I think a lot of us saw coming at, at some point. It's been a bit slower to uh, to get there versus the, the automobile market, and there's real reasons for that. Number one is the terrain that power sports tend to travel on tend to be a lot more rugged, so it's, it's more difficult to produce an electric power sports product than it is a, an on-road uh, vehicle, motorcycle, scooter, e-bike, whatever the case may be. And then the other thing, when you think about um, BRP, they are looking at, at the electrification as well, and they plan to introduce uh, their first electric product in the next couple of years with a plan of having every single one of their products available in electric over the next five years. Very similar to what we're seeing some of their competitors like Polaris, for example, announce as well. Uh, Taiga you know, does have a, an early stage uh, we'll call it a lead. I mean, really, that's their sole focus, and they're they're on a much smaller scale. But they are they are the first to have a commercial application of uh, of an electric power sports product. But we certainly expect BRP to uh, to follow suit in relatively short order. What is your take on the overall recreational sports industry growth? Yeah, I mean, look, the power sports market was was really one of the major beneficiaries during that the pandemic period. Um, a lot of folks viewed it as a as a you know safe, family friendly outdoor activity that they could pursue as a as this type of a leisure activity, as opposed to you know traveling, which was which was effectively shut down. You know, going to restaurants, all of the normal things that that people did for leisure activities, which were unavailable at that point. So we certainly think that there's a lot of growth. The the TAM or the total addressable market has most certainly increased coming out of uh, out of the pandemic so we certainly think that you know the the covid period expanded the total addressable market for power sports players and that's something that we see as having a a long tail effect uh, within that market over time so it's one of the higher growth markets within the consumer discretionary space and a market that we really like here um, you know at, at current valuation levels the recreational vehicle industry is thriving. Companies like Taiga and BRP are adapting to accommodate this growth, and we are looking forward to seeing their innovations. Canaccord Genuity analysts have a buy rating on both companies. Like and subscribe to keep up to date with the cash management team and latest Canaccord research. Our investment advisors are always a phone call away at 604-643-0101.